everywhere I look. Come the stages of taking the mantle off. The podcast is it? Evolution of Humanity. This is where we focus on personal and professional growth. 2020 has been an eventful year. So everyone has a story to tell. Feel free to tell yours. It will be immortalized in the history of YouTube and podcast platforms. I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know what stories you will tell. I will look for you. I'll find you. When it came to fitness, uh, when did your journey start? When did I start? Well... A storm is coming. Bienvenidos. Que tal? Tu hablas inglés. Si? Hablo poquito espanol. Gracias. Oh, God. Welcome to the evolution of humanity. We're having a focus on fitness today. And now, I know, most of you might be questioning, oh, you're a guy in a wheelchair. What do you know about fitness? Well, first of all, a sportsman is qualification. Uh, second, um, yeah, I do know a bit about cardio, but I don't go to the gym for a cardio workout. Do you know what that means? And three. You're here with me. And Capri. Capri, as you can see, knows more about fitness than I do. She has... Okay, I'm gonna need a few seconds to do this. She has TikTok. Um, she has Twitter, and she has quite a bit of training. She drops inside her head. So let's see how much we can get from inside her head up onto the podcast. Yes, sir. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna break the fourth wall a bit. I did ask. Uh, how she is, but just to put it on record and show that I'm a good person sometimes. How you do? I'm doing okay. <laughs> I do sleep enough today, so um, I'm running low on energy. But what's new, right? What's new? <laughs> yep, what's new? Uh, different year, same situation, I guess. Yeah, we're only human. Yeah, so as you can hear, we're gonna have a bit of a short session in the next 30 minutes or so. So, when it came to fitness, uh, when did your journey start? When did I start? Well, I can't say that I have a particular <laughs> start date. There's no start date. Um, I've been active since I was like 12 or 13. Okay. I've been on my, on, in my school's football team. I used to do a bit of basketball, um, martial arts, kickboxing. But let's say five years ago, I started to take weightlifting pretty seriously, counting macros and watching my food and, um, it's, it's been a long journey, but it's been a good one. Okay, and um, right off the bat, you guys know why she is here, because at 12, 13, I was watching Pokemon. <laughs> I was watching every cartoon I could find. Yeah, Pokemon's good. Pokemon's good. <laughs> but you did more than I did at 12, 13. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> maybe a little, maybe a little. <laughs> I know this because I follow you on Twitter and mm-hmm. you, that's, I think your account is linked to Twitter, so the question that's three uh, in, my you account answer them. In uh, a very short amount of time, I remember during the summer, the summer of 2020, there was this, my account was nothing. I had, I had only my close friends following me and you know i was following them back 
but I remember during the summer of 2020, there was this hashtag trending um, about strong women or I guess fit women and oh, yeah. um, there were a lot of people posting on that hashtag so I said you know what let me make my own contribution oh. and yeah with that one tweet I'm my account blew up quite ridiculously and it came to my attention that there are a lot of people and a lot of women out there who 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 want to feel empowered and who want to feel like they're not alone so here i am you know that's what i'm here for <laughs> well, and it's not just about women you know yeah if you're a guy and do you want to feel empowered come on over i'm all about that as well <laughs> Yeah, and you are doing your best to empower others every single day on Twitter videos with us by this new thing that I found recently fleeting on Twitter. I had no idea that's a thing until a few days ago. Yeah. Uh, like the Twitter stories. That and was just, that was strange when that first came out. Not gonna lie, I was weirded out by that, but um it's been helping. It's been good. Oh, Okay, so you you adapt a lot better than I do to new things. Mm -hmm. You've got to adapt to survive. (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. You've been actually quite busy with training schedules. Like a few days ago, I saw on Twitter that there was like a train of training schedules. I know I'm great at English sometimes. Train of training mm-hmm. schedules. Yeah, no, and, that's right. And do you, like, you're mindful of many kinds of training. So you don't really focus on one part. You're mindful of others that do different types of training and therefore you get the words they've Did it, or how did it give you that okay i shouldn't just focus on myself i know you mentioned when you were on Yuri's cat and then you you were on it with a motivation of empowering others uh when did you think of like going for more than one training schedule like for instance you can tweet about your training schedule and then add a couple bonuses with like other people mm. so i didn't quite get the question here is it is it um yeah the question why i why i incorporate different types of training yeah my question went all around the world and it didn't really get to the point patrick say that again it's all right um <laughs> okay Okay, uh, uh, so. Types of training. It's not about personal training. I wouldn't say it's personal training. I mean, the stuff that I've been posting since the beginning of January are the things I've been doing at home. So I do the training myself, and then I'd post it for others to join. It's more like a collaborative thing where everyone can get together and do the work and it's more like a push forward you know because i definitely understand that it can be hard to do things by yourself it can be hard to be motivated by yourself so i guess this was kind of of a way for me to to get everyone to do it together at the same time on the same day you know and it's been going well it's been going great it's been 10 days, let's say 9, 10 days into January, and I'm posting these ridiculous work. <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's yes. what I thought you are tweeting for everybody else as well. <laughs> and now you're saying that, ah, oh, I did all of this. Yeah, and I mean... I do all of this. 
need to find the time in the day. Yeah, it, you gotta find like it doesn't take much time. Thirty minutes, forty minutes, an hour, depending on how fast you can get through it. But you also gotta keep in mind that not everyone can do the same thing. Like, oh yeah, yeah. not everyone can do a, a handstand push up. You know, like yeah, it's one. You know, <laughs> so uh, I I like I like to keep in a couple of options, and I like to show people the different options that they can do if something is too hard or if an exercise becomes too easy. It's also very important to keep in mind that there are different options that people can take, and not everyone works at the same level. So yeah. it's very important to talk about those. Yeah, over yeah, on mini podcasts you can find people on the podcast with actually more intelligence, IQ than I do. And since the two of us played Among Us some time ago, she killed me quite a few times. So that shows that she's more intelligent than I am. I'm gonna go back a few months. I actually witnessed you master the handstand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sort of, kind of. I'm still not there. <laughs> I'm not there 100, but we're trying. <laughs> uh, I mean, I still just... gotta put my up against the wall and like, yeah. you know, I got no balance in this body, but <laughs> we're getting there. Well, I can say you got everything else from what I can see. Got everything out of balance, so it comes soon enough. Got the strength. We definitely got the strength. Can <laughs> <laughs> you say your favorite training? I'm a huge fan of Olympic weightlifting. That's gotta be my favorite. Um, I do CrossFit. I do calisthenics. Um. I do a little bit of gymnastics, even though I'm not that flexible. But yeah, we're trying. Um, I do kickboxing. I recently started tennis, which isn't really <laughs> my thing, but you know, it's fun with your friends. Yeah. But I'd have to say that Olympic weightlifting is is my go-to. Oh, okay. It's where I find you know the most pleasure in doing. When we focus on Olympic weightlifting, is there anything that surprised you about doing since you started? Like, okay, yes. I, I got to a certain weight limit before I expected. Yeah, there are there there were a couple of surprises when I started Olympic weightlifting, and that your body can be hella strong. Your body can can be you can carry an elephant, but if you don't train your mind oh. along with your body for Olympic weightlifting, I mean, when you combine the two together, you are capable of amazing things. You know, you can't have the mindset to go in and say, okay, I'm going to hit a certain weight, but I'm not sure if I can do this. Mm. You know, I don't know. I think I can't. You can't have that mindset. Mm. You gotta visualize yourself, and yeah, you gotta visualize yourself nailing that brick in the head and hitting that weight. At least that's what I think. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You can drop the weight, but at the same time, there's no room for us to get cocky and you know go in. And ridiculously large increments. You gotta be responsible at the same time. It yeah. trains your mind in ways that that you cannot imagine. Not a wiser word than being spoken. And that's why I love it. <laughs> that's why we love it. What is it that you do to hype yourself up mentally? Do you? Use yoga or meditation, or do you just 
need yeah. music for that. Yeah, I do a bit of music. I haven't done yoga in a while, um, but the music really helps. I like putting on. Um, I got a very. My taste in music is very wide, so <laughs> one day you'll find me, you know, lifting to heavy metal and. And the next day you'll find me lifting to Celine Dion. So, I mean, it's good. It's good. Each, uh, each, uh, <laughs> each workout has got its mood. Uh, Celine Dion. So, you yeah. lifting weights for about so one rep is had. about two minutes. The I guess. <laughs> Every night in my dreams, <laughs> there we go. That's what it sounds like. That's what <laughs> that's what I'm seeing in my head. <laughs> Every rep takes a while. It's not easy to picture. It's not easy to picture. <laughs> that's why I'm picturing it that way. At least you managed. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're into CrossFit, so I'll call, call you the CrossFit Capri. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, is your core strength in it, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not really into bodybuilding as a sport. I mean, I have my own opinions towards it and everyone has their own opinions, but it's, it's really not my thing. And I personally don't really like it that much. Um, but the main reason why I do this is to feel stronger. To feel physically stronger and mentally stronger. I mean, yes, I watch my food and, and all that stuff. But the main goal is to... Is to enhance my physical well-being. Then getting the gains and the six-pack and all that stuff. I mean, that comes as a prize, you know. It's like the cherry on top. Yeah, that's a cherry on but top yeah. of it. Experimenting with a few different things right now, oh. and it's been fun. It's been good. Oh well, that's that's what I believe is the most important part of doing something. Like, yeah, for me, for example, I need to find something new every week mm -hmm. that motivates myself yeah, to keep definitely. doing it. If you do the same exercises every single day, you're definitely going to get bored. Like, <laughs> no doubt, no question. No question there, you're going to get bored. Yeah. Uh, even with food, you know, if you eat the same lunch and dinner every single day, you're going to get bored and you're going to start craving, going off track, which is why it's good to to cheat a little bit here and there, to have yeah. things that you take yeah. within the limits, yeah. to try different different recipes, you know, like it's 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 not a strict thing. It's not something that you should be obliged to do. Mm. So, right? No. It's about having a good time and feeling yeah, good. Exactly. Exactly, because yes. why well, do it? Cool it's not fun. Yeah. So, what would you say is your cheat snack? Your cheat meal? Pancakes. Pancakes. Pancakes all the time. Pancakes. French toast. <laughs> French toast. Pancakes. Pancakes donuts. and French toast and donuts. And a box of Capri Suns. You <laughs> damn! I'm gonna have a box of course, of, of course, Capri Suns. How could we forget Capri Suns? <laughs> <laughs> Do you add syrup to the ban pancakes, or is it just pancakes, pancakes with like showered in maple syrup, um, in maple syrup. strawberries, butter? Maybe we can add syrup, some so... syrup. A That's a shout out to Canadians at the moment. Maple syrup for the win. Yes, yes, sir. 
it's sweet it's good it's um it's fantastic and it's it goes well with pancakes so why not okay so all you maple syrup companies uh are you looking to sponsor anybody <laughs> aunt jemima aunt jemima, aunt jemima is no. over here links to uh twitter is down below and the tiktok yeah i've neglected the instagram she has <laughs> instagram as well you can find capri at instagram all those things all got those <laughs> things all those things who knows maybe i'll throw in a cute scat as well that might be a good scat as well <laughs> If you're a cat, head on to my curious cat. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a, that's actually a good slogan. If you're a curious cat, head on to my curious cat. It doesn't okay. take much to think of it. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. No, it does not. not. <laughs> Would you say that in 2021? Uh, you found something new to focus on? Not Whether at the moment. Life in general, or just fitness? Or I cheap. mean, I graduated. So things have been pretty dull at the moment. But um, I'm hoping to look into new things soon. Um, I've been reading a little bit about nutrition and um how to go about doing it okay just uh, increasing on my knowledge that i already know but um i'm hoping to learn new things try new things set new standards go for new goals we'll see how it goes and that is why it was perfect for Capri to be on the podcast because I know so many things that I've forgotten by now. I've forgotten <laughs> so many things about nutrition. I've forgotten so many things about... And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to tell you. Exactly. Exactly. So, would you say that you'll be interested in creating some kind of diet plan to go with training schedules that you do mm. you know as time goes on and you oh or diet okay. plan um i think people should just eat whatever the hell they want i believe in macros counting though so if you do want to lose or gain weight um your body burns a certain amount of calories during the day right Yes. Yeah. And if you if you eat more than that number, then your body starts to gain weight. Yeah. If you eat a little bit less, yeah. that's when you start to lose. Also, your body needs a certain amount of each macronutrient to to get into shape, I guess, or to feel to to feel as good as it can going too much or too little on a certain macronutrient will leave, leave you feeling tired or or not functioning the best you can right yeah. so i mean go ahead and eat whatever you want but if you're looking to get into shape um, you should start counting those and seeing how you feel after a week. Am I feeling tired? Am I feeling good? Am I getting results? Am I gaining muscle, losing fat? It really all depends on what the person's looking for. Yeah. One would say that discipline is a big thing in fitness. Were you always one that was disciplined to do certain things at a certain time, certain amount of minutes? Or is it something yeah. that you found you 
growing into? I've always been the type of person to, when I want something, I will do whatever the hell I can to get what I want. <laughs> okay. So when I set myself goals for, for fitness, let's say, and I wanted to reach a certain strength level, or I wanted to reach a certain body composition, I would work my butt off to get to that goal. And seeing that goal in front of me gave me the drive to go forward. Feeling good when I wake up in the morning gave me the drive to go forward. And feeling strong every time I go to bed, that gave me the drive to go forward as well. Um, we all get bad days. We get tough times. And during those times, it might be a little bit hard to push forward with with your training or with your food. And you know what, if you can't do it during those times, it's fine. Everyone goes at their own pace. We all need a couple of days off. So as long as you're not overworking yourself and burning yourself out, or at the same time, as long as you're not procrastinating to get things done, you're already on the right track. Those are words to live by as far as procrastinating goes. On the way out, I will leave you with this little anecdote. Well, we will leave you with this little anecdote. At, at the moment, it's past 12, so it's shortly after noon for me. I've been awake for about two hours now, and... Capri over here, she is, she's awake in the morning every single day. I'm not. I try. <laughs> I really do try. <laughs> Catch me sleeping until 6 p.m. on the weekend. I'm just saying. You're just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, again. Catch me waking up at 6 p.m. with a pancake. I'm just saying. <laughs> um. Just gonna be disciplined because out of my way you have about you had about thirty minutes to spare. And I think we've gone through about thirty minutes. I have to be honest, I have no idea how long we've been. And this is how this, we've been around thirty minutes. Yeah, this is how the podcast I envision being I lose sense of time. I do too. That felt that felt very short. Not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. It does feel very short. And then when I get to editing, it, I can see. Okay, it actually wasn't yeah. short. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. Yeah. Anyway, so well, before we go, thank you. Thank You're you. Very for... well. Thank you for having me. No problem. Thank you for being on the evolution of humanity podcast. I feel cringy when I name things. I feel very cringy. That's all um, right. You can go for what your heart desires. Ain't nobody gonna judge you. <laughs> Are you sure? Him. Have you seen Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> yeah. You don't judge nobody in this house. Uh, I'd love to be in the world you are, because my world isn't that fun in terms of judged. Anyway. Oh, you're free to point. Any day. <laughs> well, We're always here. We're always around. Yeah. Well, from these dank sunglasses. Who last shades? Capri. Love them. And me. We have one message. Don't wait. Create. Don't you dare wait. If I catch you waiting. <laughs> Boy, if I catch you waiting. You know, just as Nike says, just do it. Go for it. Just do it. Just do yes. it. Damn right. Full disclosure to everybody. You know why I love Joe Emilio? Because I got bored with South African accents. Yeah, I love South Africans. <laughs>